What's up, Cowboys Nation? Back at you again with another video. And today we're going to be running tape on Tyler Smith versus Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is one of the guys that wrecks games, but with Tyler Smith, he has made a difference. He can play left guard or left tackle, but we all know that iron sharpens iron. So we're here to run the tape, so let's get right down to it. So with Aaron Donald, they love to line this guy all over the field. They can pit him at the three technique position. They can pit him at the one technique, the right end, or the left end. So on this play right here, they're going to have him lined up in a B gap on the outside shoulder of Tyler Smith. And Chima Adoga, he's going to be going up against that rush end on the right side. And you're going to have Tyler Biotish and Zach Martin double teaming number 91 with Terrence Steele going up against their left end. So it's good to see situations like this just to get a feel of what this player can be able to do against a guy like Aaron Donald because he has a quick first step, but just having a power your shuffle, shuffle, stab, the technique things, using your hands well, that's going to be important to be able to slow this guy down. But on this play here, it's going to be a touchdown to Jake Ferguson. So it was a very, very good productive play, but it all starts off with the offensive line. So we'll run this play. As you can see, the shuffle, shuffle, stab, the technique things is very important, getting his hands on Aaron Donald. He tries to spin on Aaron Donald, but at that point, it's too late. He's too powerful up top. And Dak Prescott has time to throw the touchdown to Jake Ferguson. So it's always good to see a very good rep like this against a guy like Aaron Donald. And you have to be a dancing bear. You got to be able to move well, and you have to be powerful up top. Because the thing is about Aaron Donald, he is very, very savvy, and he knows where to go. He understands creases. He's powerful, and he has it all. So playing with great technique, not trying to overextend, and not trying to be too, too aggressive, those are the keys to being able to slow the guy down. And that's exactly what Tyler Smith did. So this is one of the reps right here that really shows Tyler Smith's power. And he is going to completely remove Aaron Donald out of this play. So Aaron Donald is lined up at that B gap right on his outside shoulder. And with Zach Martin, he's going to be double team blocking with Tyler Biotish. And you're going to have Richards. He's going to be going up against that rush end on the left side. And it's so good to see players that can be able to wash a guy out of a play. It's very rare to see that, especially when you're going up against a guy like Aaron Donald. But on this play right here, it's going to be a touchdown to Brandon Cooks. So it was a very, very good play. It ended well. But just seeing what they're doing at that line of scrimmage and what Tyler Smith does to him and removes him to the left side, it's always good to see that. And that can get everybody on the offensive line riled up. So we'll run this play. As you can see, he gets his hands on him. He kind of loses balance a little bit, but... He shuffles. Next thing you know, he gets his hands on him, lowers his anchor, and completely just uses his power to move him to the left side, man. And that is the kind of stuff that you need, Cowboys Nation. That's the kind of stuff that I like to see within our type of player right there at that left guard position. You love to see situations like this, guys. Beautiful, beautiful play to Brandon Cooks to be able to finish it off. You all know he takes the top off the defense, so he will make people pay. Hopefully, he can be able to do that in the future. As far as a guy like Tyler Smith, just be able to use his hands well and drive this guy to the left side of the field. It's always good for the whole offensive line. Just getting these guys riled up because with this offensive line, you got to have somebody to be able to set the tone. It is extremely hard to completely remove a guy like Aaron Donald off the field. And just driving like that, having that strength, having that will and that determination, this is exactly what you need on the offensive line. And that is a playoff type of rep. So I wanted to show you guys some highlights and some lowlights of these guys going at it. There was a lot of good plays, but then again, there were some bad plays as well. But the thing is with Aaron Donald, there will be bad plays, but you have to limit those mistakes. And that's exactly what Tyler Smith did. So let's get to it, Cowboys Nation.
So it's great to see a guy go pound for pound against a guy like Aaron Donald. And having guys like Osa Odegizua, having guys like Mozzie Smith there at practice and training camp throughout the regular season where you can be able to clash with, that can only get you better because those guys are very strong. They understand leverage. And this is what's going to bring out the best of Tyler Smith and get this guy to where he needs to be. So on this play, Tyler Smith just completely shows his strength. And it's just good to see these plays. He's going to be lined up against Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's going to be in the B gap. Our left tackle is going to be going up against that edge defender with Jake Ferguson being in that slot. And this is going to be one of those plays that's going to be an outplay to Rico Dowdle. And you're just going to just see the strength of Tyler Smith and just what he can be able to do if he get his hands on you. So we'll go ahead and run this play. As you can see, he got his hands right on him. I mean, they're wrestling too, man. I mean, they're going right at it. But just having that power and just stopping that guy at the line of scrimmage is always good. Giving Dak a clean pocket to be able to throw the ball. This is what you need out of your left guard, Cowboys Nation. you got to have stuff like that. That was a good play by Rico Dowdle. We'll run this play in real time so you can see it. You start wrestling a little bit. But next thing you know, Tyler Smith gets his balance and they make a five-yard game. So it's great to see a player like Tyler Smith go out there and do work. Since the beginning of the season, this guy has really been making a difference. And it's good to see it because if you continue to keep doing things like this, having solid plays like this, this is how you can get the Pro Bowls. This is how you can be a perennial All-Pro. But this guy got to lock in and focus. You have all the tools. You got guys like Zach Martin. You got guys like Tyron Smith. Even though Tyron Smith, he needs to stay healthy if we're going to make a solid playoff run. He has to go out there and lock in and continue to keep learning. But the thing is, when you have players like him being able to hold people up at the line of scrimmage, establishing a pocket for Dak Prescott, this is how you can be able to bring a better Dak Prescott. Because if he can feel comfortable within that pocket, this is how he can make his solid reads and make big plays. And the good thing is, when you see him going up against guys like Aaron Donald, he's going to be going up against Javon Hargraves. You're going to see Jordan Davis, Jalen Carter. I feel good about that, especially having guys like Zach Martin beside you with Tyler Biotis in the middle. If we're going to be able to take that next step, we got to be able to run the ball. We got to have solid pass protection. Dak Prescott's going to have to feel comfortable within that pocket. If he can be able to do that, these guys can be able to make plays. But this guy's going to have to keep learning. Do not get cocky. Continue to keep being that sponge within that organization because this is how you can be one of those guys that can really make a difference. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't hit it, you'll miss on fire live streams and fire breakdowns. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all soon. Gone.